Today is July 28th, and on this very special day, I thought about watches. Today is a new moon. On every new moon and every full moon, I pull out my Crador nodes. I'm fortunate enough to own both the Crador GCLL 997 and the 999. These two beautiful watches show off the full and the new moon. If you haven't seen the video, I made a full video about it on my channel. But today, we're going to talk about the mathematics of watches. Pocket watch time. You know I'm a pocket watch fan. Welcome to another episode of Horology Talk. My name is Patrick W. Today, a fun little episode talking about mathematics and watches. First, two definitions. Pi, the number, not the pizza, not the apple pie. Pi is defined as a mathematical constant. It's the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. To put that into simpler terms, it's the beauty of a circle. Within nature, we see circles, and generally I think they're just appealing to the eye. In watches, we see circles everywhere. And in some watches, we see them more than everywhere. And that's what inspired me to make this short little video. I recently came across an old Hodinkee article from 2016. In the article, they talk about the proportions of the Crator GCLL 999. You might see some numbers that aren't just coincidence. So pi equals 3.14. The diameter of this watch is 41.3, and the height is 13.4. Do you see what Crator did there? Not to mention hiding the mathematics of circles and their case proportions. They also hit a lot of circles on that dial. How many circles can you count? I'm not going to even try to count the circles in the power reserve indicator. And this brings up our second definition. Fee, not the admittance fee for the movies, the PHI variety. So phi is a little bit more complicated to talk about. Basically what phi means is that lines are balanced. The proportion of two smaller lines is equivalent to the proportion of the larger lines. In watches, this brings balance and once again is visually appealing. Phi also has two nicknames, the divine proportion and the golden ratio. That becomes obvious when we start talking about some of the examples that have phi. One of the most well-known examples is the Patek Philippe Golden Ellipse. They didn't name the watch Golden because it's made of gold. This watch is clear evidence of the Golden Ratio. Another watch that's very commonly known to implement the Golden Ratio is the Alange and Zona Lange 1. The asymmetrical appearance of those circles on the dial aren't so asymmetric after all. And two examples of the Golden Ratio that I've never heard of, the Mont Blanc Caliber MBM14.08. The actual movement is inspired by the golden ratio. Now that's some dedication. And the last watch that we'll talk about is the Parmigiani Florier Toric. The entire case and layout geometry of the watch is inspired by the golden ratio. Even the hands. So next time you look down at your wristwatch and think that it's just a common old thing, it might be more complex than you ever imagined. Well, thank you for joining me on another episode of Horology Talk. I'll see you next week with a new video.